In this video, we will explore how we can create business partners out of employees. First of all, we have to do some customizing. So we navigate to transaction code SM30. And by the way, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We select the table T77S0 and click on edit. Then we click on position and navigate to the group name HRALX. And over here, we need to make sure that first of all, the HR integration is set to active via this X. And secondly, the integration with the business partner is set to on. Also, we have two other check marks. So first of all, let me scroll down a bit. There is a check mark called PNUMP, and this is for the business partner number assignment. So this here determines in what kind of number range our business partner is created out of the employee. Currently, it's set to one. One means that the business partner will receive a number automatically. There are also three other possibilities. Let us actually display the help. Here we can see the other options for our number ranges. You can explore this yourself and see which setting is valid for your case. In my case, I will leave it as is. So meaning that a business partner will be created with an internal number range automatically. And last but not least, let me scroll down a bit more. Here, I will set the subgroup to 01, but this, as you can see from the help again, this really depends on what we set in the switch for the number range. So in my case, the switch was set to one. So this is why I'm permitted here to include the 01 as well. Let's save. Now we need to make sure that our business partner role for the employee is stored in the system. So we navigate to slash n s p r o sub reference img cross application components. We scroll down to the business partner, business partner, basic settings, business partner roles, define BP roles. And over here, we need to make sure that the role BUP003 is existing. Double click on this one and make sure that the hide button is deselected. So later on, our business partner will be created with this particular role over here. Next off, we navigate back and back again. We go to address determination, define address types. And here we need to make sure that the address type HCM001 for the employee private address is existing. If it's not existing, you can create it via new entries. Let's go back, close this view again, and then we go further down to identification number, define identification types. Click on this one, scroll down a bit until you see HCM001, 028, 030, and 031. Make sure that those four are existing. Let me actually show you how one of those looks like by double clicking on it. You can see here we have the type, we have the description, it is assigned to a category and quite important here, it is relevant for persons because the business partners we are going to create are business partners of type person. If you don't know the difference between a person, organization and group, or if you want to have more information about a business partner, I will link you one of my other videos in the description. Let's go back and back again. Now we can actually start with the process. So therefore we navigate to transaction code slash N P A 30. We select action and click on new. And then we include here some dummy information for our employee. Let me just fast forward here. We click on save. We need to include more information. Let me just fast forward a bit. You would fill the information accordingly for your case. And then once we filled some of the information, we scroll down and over here, we select the info type 0105 for communication and the subtype 0001. Then select create again, insert the start date, and then the system ID is your user. So your system user with whom you log on to the SAP system or any other user. Those users are stored for instance in SU01 transaction. Then save. And now what is left is to create our business partner out of the employee that we just created. Therefore we navigate to transaction code slash N SA38 and we insert the following program. As you can see over here, you can pause the video if you like. Then we click on execute. We need to insert a personal number. The personal number, let me just show it to you again under slash OPA30. The personal number we created was 63. We store it over here and click execute. Now we can see personal number is processed. We can also see the protocol via transaction code slash NSLG1. Here we could inspect the log and search for problems that might have occurred. But for now, let's now go to transaction code slash NSU01 insert our user for whom we created 
our employee data via transaction code PA30 before, click on inspect. And over here we can see our user is already linked to the business partner with the number you can see over here. So we can actually copy this number, then go to slash NBP, go to find select person, and then the business partner number. And here you can see the business partner who was created automatically out of our employee. Let's double click on this one. And you can see here, the business partner was created successfully with the following roles, our business partner general role, which is always assigned, and then the role BUP003 for our employee. Yeah, this marks the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.